At the gym with the pulley machines, you usually have the availability of a position up high and down low. Sometimes you can go all the way in between. Let's talk about the low position, down low. This also is a variation on the rotational crunches. Definitely working your abdominal area. And again, these, these rope pulls, as I call them, also work your shoulders and upper body as well. The key here, again, is to find somewhere where you can anchor your tubing low. The tubing I have, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see this in the camera right now. You can roll, maybe roll down to it. I love mine because it has a guard on it. So that way you don't have any... Well, you can still tear it, but you don't have really any major chance of ripping through your, your tubing. So make sure that you've got that in the right position. You've got to step away a little bit. I'm short, if <laughs> you couldn't tell. So I'm not going to get as much here as I'd like to. If you had something to step on, if I were over by the platform, I would have even more of a distance. But this still will work. So here I am in my position, and I'm coming up and across, keeping my body steady up and across. Let me tell you, this is really hard. <sighs> now, what am I not doing? Once again, I'm not rotating my hips, right? I'm working my arms and I'm working my shoulders and guarantee <sighs> I'm working my core area. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole exercise again, but what would happen if I took the tubing which was stuck, but I got it now, and I took it up high, and I basically pulled down, right? This isn't the exact position I would use, but I could be coming down, too. I could have a position where I come down. Would want to be up a little higher than that. Either way, you're coming up, or you're doing a wood cutter down. It's the same principle, working in here and working all through the shoulders. Really good.